this is how to do the square button buzzer drawing. I have my paper taped level with the T-square. My starting point is right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a light line across the page here. Now I'm making it probably a little darker than I should, but I want you to be able to see it. Um, the drawing is two and a half inches wide. I, again, here's my starting point. I'll make a light line all the way up from that point. Right there is two and a half inches. Again, I already showed you how wide it is. The height is two and a half inches. So, from the bottom here, I just measure up two and a half inches, put a mark perpendicular to the ruler, and then make a light line all the way across. And then I can darken in this rectangle. So there is the perimeter of the front view. There are two holes here. This particular hole is one and five eighths of an inch above that bottom point. So I'm going to measure up one and five eighths. That's the same as one and one sixteen, two sixteen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sixteenths is the same as five eighths. So put a mark, make a light line. That hole lines up with the other hole over here. So I can just extend this line up through the whole thing. And then at the intersection of those two lines, it says both holes are three eighths of an inch. I'll take the three eighths inch circle template set it on that intersection. Again, uh, right here is 3 eighths, and I can draw that. Um, I do want to draw the center lines. A center line is a long line, dash in the middle, long line. Do the same thing here. Long line, dash in the middle, long line. Let's see, what else do I need to do? The right side view. So the instructions say the right side view should be one inch away from the front view. So I will measure one inch away. Put a mark, make a line. The thickness of it from front to back is three-fourths of an inch. So I'll measure over three-fourths of an inch, put a mark, make a line. Again, in these orthographic drawings, you draw everything with light lines first, and then you can actually go back and darken in the edges that need to be darkened in. So this is all the visible lines that make up the object in line with the edges of the hole. I'm going to do dashed lines. These are my hidden lines. So from the right side view, you can't see these holes, but to communicate that they're there, in line with the edge of the hole, you do those dashed lines, which are called hidden lines. And in line with the center line, I'll put a center line, long, long line, dash, long line. Again, in line with this center line, long line, dash, long line, I do another center line. Um, it does ask you to include the needed dimensions. So we have the two and a half, the one and a fourth, the seven eighths. I need to do this one and five eighths. So I will extend a line from there, extend a line from here. Draw my arrows in between, and I think that was one and five eighths. So I'll write that in there, one and five eighths of an inch. The total height is two and a half. So I'm gonna extend this line even further. Extend a line from the top all the way out to about there. Draw my dimension lines in between. That was two and a half inches. So we have the two and a half, the one and five eighths, the seven eighths, the one and a fourth, the two and a half. We need to do this three fourths over here. So in the right side view from the front to the back is three fourths inches. And then I could just erase these light lines uh, maybe use an eraser shield 
Um, but then I would be all done. Thanks for watching.